Okay, so again, work, push down the back plate, gun does not fire, eventually it will, <laughs> and there you go. So, make sure the gun's clear, the gun fully assembled. What we're gonna do is take my favorite lug file. So, this file is flat on one side and not on the other. So it's a two or four sided square file. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to take the gun and we're going to hold down the safety tab like that. And then these legs right here are what we're gonna be cleaning up. So we're gonna take the file, we're gonna go right in here and we're gonna just take that down just like so. So not touching anything else. So we're gonna take that down until we can push this down and get it to solidly go off. So so we'll take a look at the finished product here. I'll clamp it up in a vise and, and we'll get it cleaned up and see where we end up. All right, so now that we got that fit, and again, we're just taking that, those little nubs right there, from this little square 1911 lug file uh, you get these off Brownells, it's 4.35 millimeters. Two of the four sides are a number two cut. Um, I use this for a lot of different things. It's, uh, it's a good file to have around the shop anyway. Um, so once we get that fit, then even when we push down the back tab like so, you know, now the trigger breaks no matter what. So, you know, again, these just have to be fit. So even when you push it down, that it goes. So it'll have a nice break. Nice reset. Good positive reset with that spring in there. And nice rolling brake. That's what we want to see on this.